there's a big piece of information that you need to know. It's the most important piece of information that I can tell you, at least in this section. You're only allowed one Amazon account. If you open two Amazon accounts and Amazon catches you, Amazon will suspend both accounts. So be very careful with how many Amazon accounts you open and even the computer that you use. Therefore, I, I cannot open an Amazon account, but I'm going to show you how the process is. Well, first of all, I like to go to Google and I like to type in Seller Central. That's the Amazon platform where sellers go, hence the name Seller. Then you click on the first one that says Amazon.com because pretty sure that this is the right one. And it's going to look like this. And then you're going to click on Sign Up. When you click on Sign Up, you're going to click on this button right here, Create Your Amazon Account. You're going to erase all the pre-filled information that your computer might want to put here. And I want you to use a new email. Why? Because there's a lot of confusion. It's happened to me many, many times with many, many different students that a student will put an email address that's their buyer Amazon account, right? Because everyone has an Amazon Prime account and everyone's buying stuff on Amazon and they try to use it on Seller Central and Amazon gets confused and says, hey, you already have an Amazon account. People try to log in on Seller Central and they can't log in. It's this whole mess. So you might as well use a new email address. Go ahead and create a new email address. It's free with Gmail and put that email address in here. Put your name, put a password, and then go through the account creation process, which I'm going to go to this website and show you the pictures on this website. So this website used an email address that they crossed out. And this is it's going to look a lot like this. Now, it's going to ask you where your business is located. If you're going to register as an individual, go ahead and select where you are located. Because the next question is going to be, what type of business do you have? And you're just going to select that little drop down menu and select none. I am an individual. So it's going to look a lot like this, or you might get the green one. There's a newer template now. Uh, but yeah, you just, it's pretty straightforward. Type in your legal business name. If you're registering as an individual, type in your name. Go ahead and type your address, type in all the information. You can actually put a unique display name, you know, put in your store name right there. And it's going to ask you to put in your phone number, which I cannot put because I already put my phone number. So Amazon only allows you to put do it one time and they will not let you do a second one. So put in your phone number, click on text me now. It's that yellow button right there. And it's going to text you a little bit a code that you put in there and you confirm your identity and then you go to the next section. Now, Amazon is very generous because in the beginning of this process, Amazon tells you exactly what you need. But I'll tell you again right now, you need an identity document, an identity document is like a passport or a driver's license. That's okay. And you can actually use a driver's license from your home country as well, as long as it's in the list of accepted countries that I showed you. And you also need a bank statement. Now, here's a really, really important piece of information. Make sure your residential address, the one that you're putting on Amazon, matches your bank statement. If it doesn't match your bank statement, you're going to get rejected. So be careful with that. You're going to also need a credit card statement to give to Amazon to verify your residential address. Make sure they all match. They all have to match so Amazon can actually approve you. If they don't match, Amazon is going to give you a hard time. And you're going to hate Amazon. You're going to get a huge headache with this. So try to avoid that. And make sure that your identity document is signed. It's happened to me before. I've handed a passport and, and they're like, no, we can't accept this. I'm like, why? Because it's not signed. You have to sign it. So make sure you sign it. Uh, so you're going to set up your billing method as well. Uh, you're going to have a credit card on there. Make sure you have a separate credit card. Amazon's a little weird like that. They like to have a separate credit card to charge you the $40 a month subscription fee. And they like to have a separate deposit account. So when you make money, they deposit it in that account. So it's really weird. Like the money will go straight into a bank account of your choosing and the money's going to come out to a credit card of your choosing. I don't really understand it. And um, tax information, you can actually put the, the tax information of your home country if you want to. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be the United States, but it's pretty much your social security number if you're in the United States. Um, there's some questions here uh, that, that you're, you're going to have to fill out. Are you an individual? Are you a business? Most of you are going to be individuals. If you are a business, this is where you select it there. 
Uh, for U.S. tax purposes, are you a U.S. person? If you're a resident of the United States, you put yes. Um, if you're not, you put no. Uh, make sure, this is really important, when you put in your name or any, any information, make sure it matches exactly what the government has you under. If you have a middle name, put your middle name in there because that's going to make it a lot easier for Amazon to find you. And uh, oh, these are uh, pretty straightforward questions. Do you have a universal product code for all of your products? You can go ahead and put yes. Actually, it doesn't matter what you put. Uh, do you manufacture a brand of product you want to sell? Do you manufacture? Yes, you can put yes on that too. Uh, how many different products do you plan to sell? You can just put the actual honest answer and then just leave it like that. And um, it, you, you might get here and you might not. Okay, so this screen sometimes appears after you finish all of that. And sometimes it doesn't appear. It doesn't appear because you get a, um, a video interview. And with this video interview, Amazon is just trying to verify that you're the actual person that's on the passport or identity document that you gave. If you don't get a video interview, then okay, you get taken to the screen and maybe they just send something to your house, like a little pamphlet that has a code on it. And if you get that code and you, you log into sellercentral.com, like I just did, and you input that code, but it might be one or the other. It's a roll of the dice. Do you have a video interview or do you not have a video interview? That is the question. And once you're done verifying your Amazon account, this actually doesn't matter. Once you're done verifying your Amazon account, you should be able to log in here. It's going to look like this. And your home screen should be free of anything red. Once it's free of anything red, you are good to go.